Hello everybody, my name is Billy and welcome to Let's Play Chasm. For those of you who know absolutely nothing about this game, this game was started on uh, Kickstarter and it's uh... Oh, thought it froze on me for a minute there. Uh, the game was starting on Kickstarter and they hit their goal for it, so it's actually going to be out, I think they said, next March? Sometime in that area. Uh, I'm going to skip through the story. If you really want to play, you can always get the demo right from the Kickstarter's page. But uh, it's just standard Metroidvania style game. And you get both hands, which is awesome. And it's completely compatible with an Xbox controller. Which is not quite what I'm using, but, you know, good enough. And the, con the controls on this game are immaculate, to say the least. They are extremely tight controls. Now the demo is only three floors of the dungeon, however if you uh... If you go into the game's setting files you can uh... Sorry, I'm going to be going uh a lot during this. But you can... You can disable the boss, which is where the demo ends. And you can make it so that way you can... Uh, play farther into the dungeon. Although... The dungeon... The game itself like crashes on uh, the sixth floor, I think it was. Chest already. Uh, all the loot is randomly generated, which is, you know, awesome. The floors are randomly generated. can level up. The final version is going to have achievements. So this game really has a lot going for it. Really? Nothing but coins. And a ruby. A little bit extra money. Yay, died already. Probably gonna happen a lot, by the way. I'm being pretty reckless. Sorry for that little bit of a jump. Had a small interruption. Oof, I hate these little worm things. Oh yeah, there's a map too. This game really has a lot going for it, and uh, if the Kickstarter had been going on longer, I totally would have donated some money towards it. Uh, the game's already greenlit on uh, Steam, too, if you want to go check that out and, and uh, help it out there. That would be great. Uh, do I even have anything I can give to this? I have nothing. I'll come back. Yes, be careful, the nest can hurt you too. Killing stuff recharges your MP, as you can see.
I end up dying again here before I get down to the next floor. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Skip the big rat. Well, there's the next floor, which, by the way, gets marked on the mini map. What have I got here? Oh, come on! There was an item right there. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have food. <laughs> Work our way back there real quick. see how long it's taken me just to get through the first floor and I haven't even fully uncovered it so you can tell this game is not going to be something that's just a quick afternoon play it's going to be something that's definitely time consuming so I'm fair with that one does did I eh, let's go back and find out what it was it's like to uncover the floors completely Blame me for being a completionist. Screw it, let's go. <laughs> oh well. Bats down there, and the one thing in this demo I hated most cannot stand the bats. Get, get hit. Jeez. Give me one second, I have another interruption. Sorry about that. So, we got some new items here. Definitely take the iron sword. <laughs> Wait, is that a stabby one? Oh, okay, that's a slash. Yeah, there's two types of swords that I've been able to see, which are uh, a slash type weapon like this, and the other one's a stabby type. I'm sure there's probably gonna be much, much more in the final game. In fact, there might even be more in the demo, I just might not have seen them. Oh, come on. Oh, that hurt. Sure you bet. And hit. Damn bats. Ended up keeling over before I can get anywhere in this floor. Ah. Yep. Called it. I actually gotta go this way first. And right about now, people are going, why didn't you use some of your food? And I was like, well, because I wanted to come back here and sell stuff and maybe get some armor. Sounded good to me. I had to go through the first floor again. And I'll save this one. I'll save those. Let's see. Bandana will put me up. Huh? What did I pay more for? Something's gonna go put me up one. Ah, oh, put me up two. 
two defense. That put me at one. That's weird. Oh, stock, that's why. Huh. Yeah, shops actually have a stock number. So I'll buy one of these, and one of these. And we'll go running back in now. Where is that altar? Right below me. Now, for these altars, you have to sacrifice things. So, I don't want to use that. We're going to drop both of these hunting blades. I believe they land in the right spot. Boom. Plus two strength. And those are permanent, by the way. Permanent buffs, so... People still haven't entirely figured out exactly how the calculations work for them, but the general rule of thumb is more expensive items equal bigger buffs. And obviously if you drop things like armor, you'll get defense bonuses instead of strength or attack. I get a helmet. Damn bat, leave me alone. Don't you quit telling me to do things. Hey. I'm sure by now you can understand why I hate the bats. dropping an armor yet. Con plus one. By the way, there are... Uh, there are also magical items. I don't know if I'll end up finding any or not in this play. But there are magical items. Green, blue... Green and blue, as far as I've seen. And they are, you know, specialty gears that give extra bonuses, as you would expect from any green or blue tier item. Ooh, a ring! Yeah, of course it's an in-ring. I don't even have the heal spell. I 
matter, I'm not sure if Book of Blades is affected by hint. Man, those things hurt. The bats will chase you through an entire screen, by the way. I hate them so much. They, they wouldn't be nearly as bad if they were just a little bit slower. Ah, uh, you missed a room up top? Oh, that's right. That's where I died last time. I am not going back for that. I'm actually probably going to be done with the Let's Play in this floor, knowing we all run into the boss's room somewhere. Ah, oh, this room. Hit me. There was something I found out about this room that I'm sure a lot of you are thinking about right now, and fortunately, if you fall into a pit, you just go back to the beginning. Spikes, on the other hand, can outright can. Well, they don't outright kill you, but they hurt. So I get from this chest. By the way, you also have a weight limit. And, uh... If you surpass that weight limit, you become really slow. Yeah, see, there's a stabby weapon. I prefer the swing ones myself. I'm... Hopeful, though, when it comes down to the final version, that they'll have added more than just swords. Or at least a much larger variety of sword types. And I'm sure they will. I mean, this is just the demo. Which, by the way, if you guys want to try this out, the, uh, the link for the Kickstarter page is in the description. And uh, you can download the demo right off the Kickstarter page. And I'll probably leave a link to the Steam Greenlight page if you guys want to check it out on Greenlight or give them your support on Greenlight. Munch some apples here. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, I just accidentally clicked outside the screen somehow. Ah, there we go. Ooh, HP plus five. And, uh, you guys might not have caught it, and I actually just barely caught it and noticed it myself, but apparently, magical items have a nice little glow to them. Yeah, see, look at that, see? It's glowing. Coffee? Is that glowing coffee? Huh. So I pick up a oh, hunting blade. One of the things I'm hoping they improve later on is, uh, oh, there's the boss. I hope they show where you are on the mini-maps. So, there's also a Hardcore and Time Trial. I haven't actually tried out any of them. I assume Hardcore, if you die, you're perma-dead. I think I remember reading something about that. But, um, so anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys will head over to the Greenlight page and give them your support, and, uh, 
This game has amazing potential to go places. I mean, this could end up being one of the biggest games of the year, of all time even, and uh, you know, for every Metroidvania lover, it's right up their alley. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check the annotations for more videos that I've done. You can also follow me in, uh, on Twitter in the description. And as always, I will see you in the backseat.